Hey guys, Jeff from Showed here, and today I want to show you a feature that's going to save you a ton of time when you're designing between desktop and mobile. So this is called Mobile Layout Assistance. I'm gonna show you exactly how it works, and I'm gonna do that by building an About section from scratch. So I'm gonna come in here to my About and just go ahead and delete everything that's currently on that canvas, and we are going to rebuild it from scratch here so that we can see how this works. All right, so I've set up this really basic about canvas from scratch here. So we've got these four or five different elements here, and you'll see that on our mobile version, it has added all of those elements, but it has not laid them out in a similar styling to the desktop. So you could lay them all out individually and adjust the styling as you see fit, but it'll save you a lot of time if you use this tool. Just head over to the canvas that you've just made changes on, Choose your three dots options menu here and choose this layout mobile option. Now you'll see that we get some options when we first open this screen up. Auto, scaled, stacked, and do not layout. So basically the first three, auto, scaled, and stacked are going to be show its attempt to understand what you created on the desktop version and recreate that the best it can on the mobile version. So you'll see we're really pretty close here. You'll see that Scaled tries to create an exact duplicate of what you've done on the desktop, which might work for some canvases, but in this instance, we definitely want to do more of a vertical design with the mobile canvas. And Stacked will typically stack all of the elements on the canvas with the styling and the sizes that you've created on the desktop version. Lastly, do not lay out. If it's just not sitting right on any of these three and it's it's just not doing it for you, then you can choose this do not lay out option. It's not going to lay the content out, but it will apply all of the styling that you added on the desktop version to your mobile version. You'll see also down here, we have these two checkboxes, copy desktop canvas, copy desktop elements. So this is going to ensure that it copies all of the elements and styles them all the exact same way they're styled on the desktop. So you typically want to leave those checked, but depending on what you're doing, you might toggle with those a little bit. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and choose auto because I think it's looking pretty good for me and I have just a few changes to make to get this up to speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. You'll see that change is made. So now I wanna align this image just a bit. So I'll hold command or shift and click my box here. You'll see I get my alignment menu on the right and I'm going to go ahead and center those together both horizontally and vertically, so it's right in the middle there. You'll see my About Jeff is close here, so I'll use the size and position to center that. Bring my bar up just a little bit, and we wanna shrink that down for the mobile version here, just about like that. And I'll bring this paragraph up, bring it in just a little to make sure it doesn't get cut off anywhere, and center that on the canvas as well. Bring that up just a bit, recenter it, and now I can even shrink this canvas down a little bit. And just like that, now I have something that matches what I've done on my desktop version here. And now it's all laid out in this nice vertical view, which lends itself well to mobile versus if we had just copied this side-by-side -side style on the desktop version. So mobile layout assistance is a really great tool if you're creating a canvas from scratch or if you've added a lot of new content to an already styled out canvas. You can always use this tool to at the very least apply the properties to the elements that you've applied on your desktop version. At best, it will lay it out fairly easily for you and with a few quick changes like you just saw me make, you'll have your new canvas all finished on mobile. I hope this video has been helpful as you continue to build out and create your brand new site. We can't wait to see it launched. Until next time, happy creating.